Okay. Um, so you can get this. Uh, we're going to use something called Visual Studio uh, in class for writing our programs. And uh, basically, it's like a, you can think of it as like a word processor, like Microsoft Word or like um, Notepad or whatever, WordPad. So it's just a place to type. But uh, it's really good for writing programs. So we're going to use it. And uh, you can get a free copy from the Media Center. And uh, I think uh, they will give you a CD, which you can put into your computer. And I don't know if they'll give you the, the CD or just lend it to you. Uh, but anyway, you can um, install Visual Studio on your computer for free. And it's uh, I think it's quite expensive if you buy it. I think it's more than it's like a couple hundred dollars, maybe. I'm not sure. So getting it for free is great. Um, however, I don't have access to that right now. So you can also uh, get something called Visual Studio Express, which is a free version of Visual Studio. It it's, uh, has some limitations in terms of what, what it can do. But for almost everything we want to do, it's, it's fine. So you can uh, look this up. I, this probably is wrong, actually. I don't know what this is, um, but this one should be okay because it comes from Microsoft. I don't know what this means, visualstudio.com. Maybe it's okay as well. Um, but anyway, I'll go to here. And uh, you can download it, Visual Studio Express 2013. Now, I don't know if we have 2013 at school, but uh, I'll just use this one anyway. And it's pretty big, so it's going to take a while to download. But you can download it. Okay? So uh, if you want to use this one, you can, or you can certainly get the full version from uh, the Media Center.